Good afternoon, good night, good morning to everyone in the YouTube world. Welcome to Lost Lion. We're gonna explore Cinque Terre today and uh, let's go and have breakfast first at the Salarian Bistro. Let's take a morning walk through, this, through the Salarium. It is an open concept, so like there's a open air right there, but it has a lot of shaded areas. Yeah, look at this. Have lots of little little hot tubs like this. It's so nice. Welcome to La Spezia Italia. How beautiful is this? And we found like a little area, part of the solarium that's showing all kinds of views. Look at the front of the boat. Look at where I'm standing. Oceans below me. All right, well again, welcome to La Spezia Italia. We are actually not gonna explore La Spezia. We're gonna take a train from here to Monte Rosso, all the way uh, in Cinque Terre, which is six euros and 30 cents one way from La Spezia to Monte Rosso. And we're gonna make our way back over here to La Spezia, but going through the five Cinque Terre towns, which literally translates to five lands. It's gonna be an interesting one. We're gonna do a little bit of hiking. We're gonna shop around, maybe get some souvenirs. We're gonna explore. If the weather permits, I'll be able to film as much as I can for you guys. Okay, we are here. Cinque Terre. Anybody speak Italian? Let me know in the comments what he's saying. Okay, we are in the train right now. <laughs> Tren Italia. So we have five towns in Cinque Terre. We have Rio Maggiore, Manarola, Corniglia, Vernaza, and we have Monte Rosso. Monte Rosso is the farthest one up north. And so we're gonna go from there and work our way down south. We have lots of cute stops in between, gelato shops, restaurants. We'll check out a few and the views, of course. Welcome to Monte Rosso. So happy to be here. This is town number one out of five. We're gonna start on the north side, work our way to the south. Little weather, but uh, we'll deal with it. So let's go explore Monte Rosso. More views of Monte Rosso del Mare with Don Francisco de Assisi and his little furry friend. Look at him. Now here in Cinque Terre, they are very, very big on pesto. So we might buy a little tiny jar of pesto somewhere. They are also big on wine. Very interesting to just look around these little cute shops, people's life, they actually live here. This is UNESCO Heritage protected so since 1997. Really no vehicles are allowed. I've read that, but then I've seen a few vehicles come through in and out. So we'll just keep walking. That's funny. I think he's waiting for that traffic light that does absolutely nothing. So I guess in each stop you can buy a ticket. For example, this one costs five euros. It's only a three minute ride from Monte Rosso to Vernaza. For three minutes, you gotta pay five euros. So it's probably better that you buy in advance online if you want to save a little money. 
Well, we are here now in the Natsa, town number two. It's actually very close. Natsa, you are looking beautiful. Double chocolate. Gelato. Well, got a double chocolate gelato, supposedly the best place in Bernasa for sure. And maybe all the Cinque Terre is over here. Right there, Gelateria Bernasa. About five euros for a double scoop. Okay, so Vernaza so far, first impressions. It is definitely more of my vibe. I'm really liking Vernaza. We just had some, some awesome gelato. So I think we're gonna take that boat that's right behind me in about 30 minutes or so to go to the next town. So you can get this 15 euro one-way ticket from Vernaza to Manarola. It will skip Corniglia, and if you want to skip Corniglia, you can. I mean, you can skip anytime you want. We're going to the more pretty, more like coastal towns because Corniglia sits on a very high cliff. One way ticket, 15 euros on the boat right behind us. So don't forget that your ticket, 15 euros one way, it is uh, cash only, and it will be this boat. You will see these rock cliffs like this, and then the beautiful town. There it is, Yellow Church. You want to do anything as early as possible. That's the one thing I'm learning about all this. Just get up early, not as many people around. It's just your best chance of getting the best photos and having a place to yourself. We are here to Manorola. Beautiful boat, right about 10 minutes. Welcome to Manarola. We are here. Lots of cliffs already, but we're gonna explore. We're gonna go up behind me. This is a town, you can't see it from here, but uh, we'll go up the stairs and check it out. Beautiful Manarola, just taking lots of photos beautiful town I think my favorite so far so this is our third town exploring it's gotta be Vernazza then this is probably second beautiful don't get me wrong all three of them are beautiful but uh, Vernazza is my favorite so Manarola for sure has some of the most beautiful views I'm gonna give it that the views here are amazing um, there's a restaurant up here Nessun Dorma if you've been there, let me know in the comments. I really want to try it, but it's only 1 p.m. now and it doesn't open till 4 p.m. And uh, it even has its own app to make a reservation. That's how crazy busy it can get. Well, unfortunately, Nesun Dorma is not open till 4. Even though there's a line, they're gonna have some cooking classes there. This beautiful cliffside here. It's so gorgeous. This is what I expected and this is what we're getting. Maybe the only, only thing is not sunny, but uh, you know, I don't mind this weather. At least I'm not sweating. We're gonna head to the town, check out a few things, maybe grab a little bite. Well, we stopped at a cute little bistro. But look what we ordered. Pesto, of course, because pesto is the main thing here in Cinque Terre. Some tomatoes and then some bread. Trying out the bread with the um, Olive oil, pepper, cheese, the mozzarella is so good, and the tomato. Such a good snack. So we just tried Da Aristide in Manarola. Five out of five. So good. Get the uh, pesto with the tomatoes and the bread. Put some pepper, put some olive oil, get you a beer. Mm, so good. Definitely recommend it. Da Aristide. We're gonna go to Via del Amor. Literally translates to the love path or way, I guess you can say. Well, unfortunately, La Via del Amor is closed. 
Um, I wish I had a sign over there saying something, but we just walked about three minutes, four minutes to find this orange fence. Please don't come right now. I guess for the next few months, it's probably closed. I don't know why, but we're gonna walk back, take the train. Insert your card. Oh, insert the card. You can use card, you can use cash. Lots of forms of payment. Take out your card. <laughs> That's why Manarola to Rio Maggiore. Literally like a minute train ride. Not, not joking. One minute, maybe a minute and a half. We have now entered Rio Maggiore, the fifth and I think the largest town of Cinque Terre. And this is only part of it. There's more. Train station is coming up from here, coming back this way. Beautiful home. So just imagine living here, opening your window and listening to the birds and you know, having great weather. Okay, we're gonna walk a little bit of uh, Rio Maggiore, enjoy the scene. It has been such a great day exploring four out of the five Cinque Terre towns. You must come, it's, it's a must. And I see why you should stay here for longer than a day. It should be maybe two or three days. If you guys see these amazing the views, from the photos, from the pictures, from the Instagram. This is what I've seen and I can't believe I'm here. The iconic view of Rio Maggiore. You guys have probably seen this in magazines, articles, Instagram. Thank you. Here we go. Welcome to Rio Maggiore. La Spezia Centrale is where you want to come after you visit Cinque Terre. And if you're on a cruise like I am on Symphony of the Seas, Royal Caribbean, uh, you definitely want to stop here in, in uh, Spezia Centrale Station. And then uh, we're going to find our way back to the cruise terminal to take the bus shuttle that's free included and uh, go back to the cruise. Looks like this is a main square, or one of the main squares of La Spezia. Not a bad looking city. I wish we could have checked it out more, but we went to uh, Cinque Terre instead. Anyways, headed back to the cruise ship. Just walking a little bit through La Spezia. 25 minute walk from La Spezia Centrale to the cruise terminal. Just keep it in mind, 25 minute walk. Uh, not too bad, if you want to see La Spezia really quick, I recommend doing that so you don't have to take a taxi or anything like that. Okay, so for those specifically going on a cruise, I do want to give some advice, some tips maybe that will help when you visit La Spezia and if you decide to go to Cinque Terre, because you can go to Florence too. But if you decide Cinque Terre, I'm going to give you some tips. Now, if you're on any cruise, you can actually get off on the dock. You can take the free shuttle bus to the cruise terminal and from there, you can walk 25 minutes through the beautiful La Spezia and I'll go all the way to La Spezia Centrale train uh, and take it from there to go to Cinque Terre. Now, if you do go to La Spezia Centrale after walking through La Spezia, you will find the train Italia uh, screen or whatever you want to call it. You can buy tickets there. But I do recommend if you want to go to Cinque Terre, you go to the furthest point, which is north and you go to Monterroso. So when you're, once you're in Monterroso, you can make your way back down to the south. You can take a hike, you can take trains. Um, either way, it'll be five euros per person if you go take the train from town to town. Now you can make your way south all the way to Rio Maggiore. I think it's the last one to the south before you make your way back to La Spezia. Now you can take the boat from Bernazza to Manarola 
So I do recommend the boat ride, even though it is 15 euros per person one way. It's a little pricier, but the views are amazing. Now, if you do come from November 6 until March 15 of any year, you can actually take the train for free between the different towns of Cinque Terre. Remember, there's five towns. Now, if you want the cheapest economical way of traveling within Cinque Terre and all the five towns, whether it's hiking or train or both, you can do a one day adult ticket for 18 euros and 20 cents. And um, it is hiking plus train. So I will leave this website specifically to help you to help you plan out your trip. See you later, beautiful La Spezia. We're gonna go to a show right now, ice skating show. I'm gonna show you guys that in a bit. So let's go and I'll catch you guys there. Okay, 1977, with this picture right here at the, what is it, Studio B, best show on the ship so far, I swear you have to watch it, this is the one show you have to watch. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Good night, good afternoon, good morning to everyone out there in the YouTube world. Thanks for watching my channel. Thanks for liking and subscribing, and I hope you guys love these videos. Tomorrow, we're gonna go to Rome, and it is a very special day, and I'll let you know tomorrow why. So, I'll catch you guys on the next episode. See you. Well, look what we have behind me, the Roman Colosseum. They're loving Rome and every bit of it. Too many tourists though, that's the only little thing.